Hey guys, TGKS Productions. So in this video, I'm going to be buying, customizing, and doing a short review of the Overflot of Morgan or Morgan that was just added to GT Online the other day. So right here, I'm inside my casino penthouse. I'm going to be buying this here. It's on Legendary Motorsports. Retails for two million one hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. I believe this actually may be potentially be the most expensive sports car in the game. But as it reads here, it says you've dreamt about the ultimate super electric sports car. So this is an electric car. Now here you are reading an app, seeing it in the carbon fiber flesh, and wondering if you can really be true. It can. The overflow of Morgan, your electric dreams turn reality, and not the bad naked and losing your teeth dreams either we're talking the flying and having parents who are proud of your dream proud of your dreams you're welcome and there you are gradia morgan but in any case like i said i believe it's the most expensive sports car i'm going to buy it here go into a little bit of the stock version customize it do a little short review so we'll check that out next So here we are, we're going to take a look at the stock version of this vehicle. A little bit of background on this vehicle. This vehicle is based off of the Roland Gumpert uh, Natalie, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, what's interesting is this car goes under the Overflawed name, although I believe the engineer that inspired this was German. So I'm not really quite sure where they were going with that. Uh, maybe there's something I missed. But what's really, what's really cool about this is, and you're going to see me open up all the doors here in, in the hood and whatnot. So you can see what all opens up. Unfortunately, there's no trunk or back that opens. But what's really cool about this this car, it is an electric car. But I believe it's it's supposedly supposed to be the first um, electric car that's going to be, uh, it's going to, I guess, use methanol to, uh, in a sense, charge it. So I guess you won't need really charging plugs or whatnot to to really charge this vehicle like I said I'm not really 100% sure on the origin and whatnot but that's sort of the, the based off the research that I conducted so I thought that was really cool adds a little bit to the uniqueness of the car you're seeing here the interior of the vehicle I really like the interior I, I don't know if it's really 100% unique I'm, I'm sure there's other interiors that are similar to this but I sort of like the the, the radio dash that lights up the overflow on the steering wheel and the seats even sort of the the speedometer dash I, I like all that I think they definitely put a lot of detail into the interior of the vehicle and I really like that they do that especially considering that we have first person obviously on like Xbox 360 and PS3 that wouldn't matter as much but on PS4 and Xbox One and, and PC having you know a lot of detail you know for first person is nice but you know as you saw me sort of turning out and the headlights are really cool you, you saw me turn on there I really like sort of how the headlights work it has a really cool back um, really cool back tail light as well but uh, you'll see when I first pulled out there, you'll hear it's it's very silent. Again, this is an electric car. Uh, we only have a handful of electric cars. I'd say under 10 electric cars in GT Online. Um, so I want to say this may potentially. I don't know if it's actually the most expensive one. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about that. I do believe this is the most expensive sports car, though. Um, but in any case, like I said, this it's an electric car and. And sort of to, to touch on this being electric, I'd say the big thing you'll see here is that the acceleration on on most of the, or pretty much on the electric cars in GT Online, um, are pretty much superior. So as we'll talk about later on, I, I wouldn't really say top speed. Usually these vehicle, the electric cars in GT Online, they'll top out, um, you know, a lot quicker than than some of the other, you know, sports cars or supercars. But in any case, as far as uh, you know acceleration is concerned these vehicles definitely dominate i didn't really go into a ton of testing on like performance with other vehicles i think it'd be interesting though to test this against a cyclone because i believe that might be the fastest electric car or as far as acceleration is concerned but in any case we're going to go into the customization a little bit here and then get into the short review after that So here we are with the customization. For the most part, like I said, I usually let you guys just sort of watch this through in case you want to see what all this car has to offer as far as customization is concerned. But there's a few things I always like to note. Um, for the most part with this vehicle, I would say the customization is fairly basic and generic when compared to maybe some other vehicles that have maybe customization that, you know, is a little bit more unique. I, I'd say a lot of other vehicles have customization options like, like these ones. Uh, there's definitely a lot of bumper options and, and chassis options to make this vehicle into more of a race car uh, even spoiler options so if you're going for more of a race car look 
you can easily do that. There's a number, of, I believe there's 12 unique liveries for this vehicle. There's a number of liveries sort of make this into a race car as well. Typically, uh, with most of these luxury cars, I like to make it more look more like a luxury car, not really a race car. So I went more for that, as you'll see when I when we finish up with the customization. But again, there's plenty of you know bumper options, chassis options, livery options, to you know, and spoiler options to easily make this into a race car if that's what you're going for. Um, so, so there is that. I, one thing I like with the liveries too. I think there was a lot of cool liveries that, that like reference different in-game brands and whatnot that we haven't seen with other you know cars. They're not just like recycled liveries from other vehicles, and and you know, uh, you know liveries like that. So I, I they're definitely you know more unique liveries. So I, I do like that. I you know I'm happy they don't just recycle the same liveries over and over again. So I do like that they did that. Um, as far as like the respray options, as you see as I get there or when I get to it. Um, there is a primary, secondary, and trim color. The primary color, for the most part, covers the majority of the of the vehicle. The secondary color pretty much covers, for the most part, just the roof. And then, I, and I believe the secondary color also covers the lining around the seats, which is Whatever which sometimes is the trim color. But I believe in this case, the secondary color actually it's either the primary and secondary. I'm not 100% positive, but because uh, I can't remember when I went through it, but it, I believe it's a secondary color actually controls the lining uh, around the seats. And um, so there, there is that, which which is pretty cool, and you know, and also there is um, there is uh, there. I believe the the or the trim color in this vehicle. Uh, I really like what they did with the trim color. It covers the majority of the dash or the interior of the doors, um, and you know, around the steering wheel, not whatnot. So I, I really like what they did there. You'll, like I said, you'll see all that when I get to the respray. And then, as far as the, the the wheels are concerned, like I said, I always like to see if they're unique uh, wheels to the to the vehicle itself. I do believe I was going, th I went through all the wheel um, wheel options. I believe these are unique wheels to the game. Um, obviously, I wouldn't say they're they're super unique just because it's not like you have overflowed on the tire or anything like that. Um, I believe uh, you know there's certain vehicles like the 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 Volk one of the Volcar vehicles that was added with the with the uh, maybe the Volcar Nebula. Um, or, or along those lines as far as the name of the car that had Volcar racing on the tire so obviously that's a really unique tire these are obviously in-game tires that, that are or they're not in game but at the same time I wouldn't say they're super unique there's other tires that could be sort of similar to these but they are unique to the car which is pretty you know pretty cool but pretty much it, those are the main things I want to mention other than that the customization is you know like I said fairly basic when compared to you know a lot of other customization options or vehicles similar to this in the game but let you guys check the rest of this out and then we'll get into the short review right after that you can think it I can do it Think long and hard. Life is hard when you can have anything. Do you need a drink? Bubbles or something? No rush at all.
whatever you desire. Technology and budget permitting. Bodywork to match the driver. Making decisions is stressful. How many cars you got in this garage again? If you can think it, I can do it. Think long and hard. You'll move through those gears like silk. Life is hard when you can have anything. So here is the final product of my vehicle right here. I believe I went with a primary, as far as the primary color is concerned, I believe I went with a bright purple. My secondary color was graphite, and then I went with the trim color of stone silver. So those are the colors I went with, the color schemes I went with. For the most part, I kept a lot of the stock options on, like the bumpers, the spoiler, just because I wanted to, again, keep sort of that luxury feel to this car. I really didn't want to make it into a race car. I wanted to keep that luxury feel, so I, I kept a lot of the stock options on. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drive it around a bit, sort of like I did in the beginning, just obviously with the um, you know with everything fully upgraded one thing I forgot to mention because this is an electric car this also does not have the turbo upgrade option so I, I did forget to mention that in the customization so just like the other electric vehicles um, I believe those vehicles don't have turbo options so um, I did forget to mention that but like I said the one thing I, I don't want to give a ton of recommendation or you know um, reviews is you know, like I said I always call this a, sh a short review just because I don't want to give a ton of you know, I, I didn't go in depth with really testing the performance of this car. I just sort of drove it around for a bit. But like I said, the big thing with these electric cars is the is the acceleration. That is the biggest thing. These are great drag racing cars. Um, just like the Coil Cyclone is probably the best drag racing car you can use in the game. Um, obviously, I believe that is a supercar. Um, so this obviously is a sports car. But um, in any case, like I said, the, the, the acceleration is the big thing. You'll see me skip around a bit, but I sort of wanted to show you, for the most part, this vehicle tops out. Like I said, top speed isn't the greatest with the, with the electric cars, so I really wouldn't recommend using this in a race, at least a very long race. It doesn't really have a lot of straightaways, just because, again, the top speed isn't the greatest. Acceleration is, but top speed, you'll see it top out. Um, at times, you'll see around 114 to 115. I really believe it tops out more so on on about uh, 106 or at times I got it at around 106 107 miles per hour and then other times I got around 114 115 or 114 to 120 um, I think that also depends if you're going up or downhill as well but again a lot of other sports cars are gonna top that you know by a long shot as far as top speed is concerned so I really wouldn't like I said 
I really wouldn't necessarily recommend taking this into a race just given that. Like I said, of course I didn't go in-depth testing this against other vehicles. One thing I would like to do if I were to test this against anything, I really would like to see how this ranks against the Cyclone considering this is the most um, expensive sports car even though like I said I believe the Cyclone is a supercar I still would like to see how it sort of ranks against the Cyclone I think that would be a very interesting video to sort of see that as well but again I wouldn't recommend I know I keep saying this but I really wouldn't recommend it in races just because of the, the top speed really isn't there like you know for the most part you know which is seen with a lot of the other electric cars in the game for the most part overall I think this is a pretty cool car I mean I, I like the look of it I don't think that it's I, I think that the background of the vehicle is very unique as far as you know it being the first electric car to sort of, sort of use uh, methanol you know and whatnot for the for the the charging or the or the, the fuel or, or to run the vehicle um, I think that idea is really cool but the overall look and whatnot I, I, I wouldn't really say that is you know it's it's super unique when compared to other vehicles in the game um, I think a lot of features with this car can be compared to other other vehicles but I still like the idea of it I still like the background of it and it's cool that there's electric car we only have a, a you know handful of electric cars in the game but I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying this car like I said I believe this is the most expensive sports car if you're going for sports cars especially for performance you're gonna want want to buy something like the Pariah the uh, Grotti Itali GTO the the Vicer Neo um, those are the cars you're going to want to get first. Those are actually cheaper. Actually, the Pariah, I believe, is the fastest uh, sports car in the game. And that is uh, uh, that is actually a lot cheaper. I believe $600,000 cheaper than this car. So I'd recommend getting those cars before you would get this car. But I do I do like this car. I, I, I like the background of it. I think that part of it is unique. But I would recommend getting those other cars, like the you know, like I said, the, the Pariah, the Grotti Tally GTO, and the Vicer Neo before you would get this one. But in any case, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it you know beneficial to a certain degree. And as always, have a great day.